Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, dear students, today <coughs> we talk about the Zad Bafra algorithm, uh, which is the last topic of your unit second, uh, I mean unit third. Okay, and it's the one of the algorithms for the hidden surface removal. We have seen already um, the back face culling or back face removal. Now it is time for Zad face algorithm, Zad Bafra algorithm. Okay. So it's it's about the hidden surface removal, and we know um, that polygon faces, if you want to draw them on a screen, it is taking a lot of CPU cycles. So there can be many faces which uh, are either you know back of some picture or uh, which are not coming in a frame, uh, which are hidden or back surfaces. So we shouldn't be drawing them. Okay, we need to save time. So uh, typically there can be occluded surfaces. I mean, this is the one of the uh, picture and there is a triangle. Say this triangle is behind this, which will not be, this part will not be visible. So I don't need to draw that, right? Or uh, there is a, for example, uh, cube. <clears throat> and if it is a solid cube, for example, uh, non-transparent, then the back face is, you know, or will not be visible so I shouldn't be drawing the other other faces the this side of which, which was uh, getting visible the back face or the bottom face I shouldn't be drawing the back faces for the back faces we have seen the back face culling or back face elimination uh, method or technique or algorithm uh, in a last video okay um, but the, if you have occluded surfaces then this this back face algorithm will not work on that so Typically for back faces, we have the Z buffer algorithm. Okay, why we call it a Z buffer, we'll talk in a moment. And there could be the faces outside the viewing volume. Uh, that's viewing frustum, what we call it. We say viewing frustum culling. That's simply called as a clipping. You know, uh, you have a viewing, viewing frustum, that is your screen is this much, and your image is this big. So you, you may not, you have to clip all things uh, so that only that thing, which is coming in your screen, you capture that, okay? <clears throat> and we saw there are two uh, techniques broadly, the object space technique and the image space technique. Uh, and object space technique is applied before vertices are mapped to the pixels. This is done before you just map them to the pixel. And image space techniques are applied after vertices have rasterized it. So when you have rasterized it, you have uh, created um, the pixels for that, image okay after that you are applying uh, some algorithm and we said the back face uh, culling or back face elimination is actually the object space technique we discussed that and in the image space technique we got now the z buffer algo okay now we're gonna take in detail this thing so what we are doing technically in the z buffer algorithm is we are trying to remove those um, polygons which are not coming in, in my viewing range, okay? Uh, so that's what's called the correct visibility. So you need to have a correct visibility. As if you could see uh, here in this tool, I'm having a lot of things which is, uh, which, is, uh, which, which is coming up, which we should have been hidden, but it's still coming, right? As you could see here, this um, leg, okay, part, in fact, this shouldn't be there, right? This part shouldn't be there, and there are a lot of uh, surfaces which should be, we shouldn't be, uh, we should be uh, hidden because if you see the right correct visibility is on this side, so because it's removing all those hidden uh, surfaces, right? <coughs> so what is your goal? So our goal is to de to determine which objects are visible to the eye. For example, um, there is. Uh, say for example there is a picture like this okay and there is another picture in front of it so that means this part of this the back picture shouldn't be shown because this is in front right so that means other picture is hidden so you have to determine which objects are visible to the eye because if the eye is on this side i'm i'm saying if the eye is on this side so you have to see which picture is visible and which is not okay so you need to determine <coughs> which color to use to paint those pixels, okay, right? Uh, because you shouldn't be using the pixels, uh, color of the pixels of this picture, 
when we talk about this much this space which is hidden which is on the back of this okay <clears throat> so there are a lot of algorithms uh, uh, typically for this thing to happen okay and especially there are three algorithms okay there one is your z buffer algorithm okay and there is also called the Warnox algorithm Warnox algorithm okay and the third one is depth sort algorithm we will only discuss z buffer algorithm here because these two are not in your syllabus so Warnox and depth sort basically these two also the z buffer comes uh, you know after these uh, these guys and it, it, this is the improvement over the warnock and the depth sort algorithm so <coughs> in our <coughs> what's called the graphics pipeline uh, we have shown you i have shown you the graphics pipeline in the beginning of this uh, computer graphic class if you do not remember just go back to that video we see that we have an object Okay, you do some modeling and weaving some mathematical model. You create a mathematical model for that. Okay, then you see the per vertex lightning. Uh, what is the lightning at each and every vertex? You try to project it. Um, but this may come, this object may come beyond your weaving frame. Okay, so whatever the weaving frame is and it's coming beyond that. So you need to clip it. Okay, whatever is coming in the weaving frame, I keep it only that thing. The rest when it's clip it. Okay, <laughs> then you have to see what is the, you have to inject or interpolate the vertex colors. Then you have to, because from this side it's a window, and from this side then you have to map it on a uh, viewing, uh, viewport mapping. You have to do the viewport mapping. We discussed what is the window versus the viewport mapping. If you do not, if you forget, just go back to that video. And after that, actually, you want to want to actually uh, put it onto the, onto the screen. So you have to rasterization, that means you have to put all the pixels, you have to do texturing, you have to do shading, and you have to also talk about the visibility. That means you cannot put up the whole objects. For example, I got this cup and I got uh, this cup if, if it's visible and I got this, this object in front. So this object, okay, this little box is hiding some part of the cup. So this whole cup shouldn't be drawn <coughs> rather i should <coughs> uh, where this is drawn at that moment we have to hide the cup portion of the cup right and this thing gives us the correct visibility otherwise it will mix up things and the picture will not be clear so if for because for the viewing purposes we have to hide them okay and then we can put up the, put that on a display and when we map, we map the X and Y because basically if we have a 3D object, we are putting it on a 2D surface, right? On a screen that's 2D. Okay. So we use the X and Y actually to put up where this, are, this is and the depth is shown by the Z. Okay. Say this Z is coming out of the screen. Okay. Because this is a depth. And for the depth testing, which we do, it is shown with a D, Z. The Z is for the depth, how much depth we have. And this Z will tell me actually that should I, you know, put the pixel of this object or pixel of the cup. When I talk of this location where this box is in front of the cup. So what should I do? Okay. Should I put the cup pixel? Should I paint the cup pixel or should I paint this pixel? What should I do? So this is what Z buffer does. It, it, it goes to the depth and who sees uh, simple is, which is closer to the eye. So I is this time the camera of this laptop, okay? And I have the this object and a cup on a back, okay? Who is closer to the eye, okay? The color, the pixel of that object will be painted and not the which is having the greater depth. Because greater depth means that object is away and lesser depth means it is in front of that object, okay, at, at a particular pixel. We will discuss this. So Z is the depth. Okay, does it make sense what I'm saying? So typically we use uh, firstly the frame buffer. We use the frame buffer, okay. 
let me get a little smaller this one we you we have a frame buffer so frame frame buffer is we know that we have discussed a lot of times that it stores ones and zeros and ones and it stores the pixel details okay for the monochrome uh, zero means one means on and zero means off but you could have the what's called as the color colored uh, so it will it may have a lot of a uh, lot of information about that pixel okay uh, so because if it's a monochrome that means one means the pixel is uh, illuminated and zero means pixel is not illuminated so this will give simply the black and white colors but if it's a multiple color so it, it we have to store the intensity of the color and all this all things will be stored in a frame buffer we know that and if again you have forgot things just go back and recap about the frame buffers where we discussed the frame buffers and all now we also have what's called as a z buffer okay the z buffer stores the depth what is the depth of the object for example we have one object we have a triangle there and we may have a circle there as you could see this triangle is on the back of the back of this square or a rectangle okay so that means this portion uh, is behind this this won't be seen but if i talk about a particular you know pixel if i talk about a particular pixel for example let me clear it Say for example, this dot, I put up here some dots, maybe the, put up the green dot. I put up some green dot. So what is the depth in terms of Z? Because I told you this is my X and this is my Y and the Z goes out of the screen, which tells us what is the depth of it and towards the eye. Because if I'm seeing from this portion towards here, okay, this is my eye and I'm seeing it towards this. So this pixel, when I try to try to draw the triangle, what is the its depth? And when I try to draw the rectangle, what is its depth and so on? Okay, maybe this circle is around here. Okay, so now this pixel uh, is to be drawn when the circle is to be drawn. So what is that the depth of that? So I store the depth of each and every polygon and I can calculate that using the surface formula. I will uh, say, tell you later the formula for that to calculate the Z depth. Okay. Uh, that means कि ये pixel का जो है अगर मैंने मेरे पास खाली for example पहले circle होता ठीक है उसका ये pixel point जो है वो कहाँ उसकी depth क्या है ठीक है इस सर इस surface पे निकलेगी वो अगर अब मैंने यहाँ पे triangle इस triangle बिठा दिया मैंने circle के आगे ठीक है ना ये circle था ऐसे इसके आगे मैंने triangle लगा दिया अब उस उसमें भी x and y position पे उस पिक्सल की z डिप्थ z डेप्थ क्या है फॉर द ट्रायंगल तो डेफिनेटली इट विल बी लेसर बिकॉज़ ट्रायंगल जो है वो i के क्लोज है बिकॉज़ द माय आई द ट्रायंगल इज हियर द सर्कल इज ऑन द बैक ऑफ इट सो दैट मींस इट्स क्लोजर टू माय आई सो इसके बाद मैंने एक जो ये स्क्वायर और रेक्टेंगल बना दिया उसमें ये पिक्सल उसको भी कवर करता है तो उसकी डेप्थ क्या है अब जिस जिसमें तीनों में से जिसमें डेप्थ छोटी होगी कम होगी व्हिच इज क्लोजर टू द आई तो वही तो विजिबल होगा तो वो उसका कलर उसका कलर मुझे फिर करना चाहिए उसका कलर जो जो उस जिसकी डेप्थ सबसे छोटी यानी कि इस रेक्टेंगल की डेप्थ सबसे कम है बिकॉज इट क्लोजर टू द आई उसकी इंटेंसिटी मुझे करनी चाहिए ना कि ट्रायंगल की ना कि ना कि रेक्टेंगल की सो so, इस तरीके से जब मैं सारे पिग्जल्स करूंगा ठीक है मैं पिग्जल्स के साथ साथ देखूंगा कलर करने से पहले कि किसकी डेप्थ ज्यादा है फर्ज कीजिए आपको यहां पे अगर सर्कल है इसमें सिर्फ z की आ रहा है सो ओनली z का सॉरी ओनली सर्कल का आ रहा है इसमें इसमें ट्रायंगल का और इसका नहीं आ रहा है तो इसमें डेफिनेटली कलर होगा सर्कल का ही तो मतलब यह है कि इतने पोर्शन में सर्कल का होगा इतने पोर्शन में ट्रायंगल का होगा यहां से सर्कल का होगा यहां से थोड़ा सर्कल का होगा लेकिन यह वाला पोर्शन सारा जो है वो रेक्टेंगल का होगा तो इस तरह से करेक्ट विजिबिलिटी हमें दिखेगी और सीधा दिखेगा कि भाई जो मेरा ट्रायंगल है कि ये दिखे मैं ग्रीन कर रहा हूं इसको मान लीजिए ग्रीन कलर आपका था फॉर द दिस थिंग एंड जो रेड कलर था वो रेक्टेंगल का था ट्रायंगल का था फर्ज कीजिए तो इतना सारा ट्रायंगल का दिखेगा इसे देखेगा इसके पीछे है ये अब प्रॉपरली नहीं मैं मैंने किया ये तो प्रॉपरली करना चाहिए था ठीक है ना और जो बाकी था वो फर्ज कीजिए कोई डिफरेंट कलर थे ब्लैक कलर लेते हैं वो आपका सर्कल है यहां से
तो इस तरीके से करने से विजिबिलिटी आपकी प्रॉपर आ जाएगी आपको सीधे पता चलेगा कौन किसके पीछे है ठीक है ना अगर हम वो नहीं करेंगे तो हमारी विजिबिलिटी भी जाया हो जाएगी हमारा विजिबल प्रॉपर नहीं होगा ओके और जो हम पिग्जल्स फिर डालेंगे तो वो पिग्जल्स डालने में भी बहुत टाइम लगता है लेकिन अगर मैं पूरा पहले पिग्जल्स यहाँ पे पहले सर्कल के बनाऊंगे पूरे पिग्जल्स उसके बाद मैं ट्राइंगल्स के बनाऊंगा उसके बाद ओवर राइट ओवरलैप करूंगा मैं यूजिंग द दिस रेक्टेंगल सो इट विल डेफिनेटली वेस्ट लॉट ऑफ सीपीयू साइकिल सो आई शुड बी डूइंग दैट सो आई शुड डू इट ऑल ऑल इन द मेमरी ओके इन द जी बफर एंड ऑल्सो आई नीड टू हैव द इंटेंसिटी बफर वेर आई हैव द इंटेंसिटी दैट मीन्स द पिग्जल कलर वट इज द कलर ऑफ दैट एट दैट लोकेशन ओके so definitely if the z buffer jiska shorter aayega uska main uh, intensity buffer se color lunga aur wo color main karunga to mathematically mere ho jayega ki z buffer se lekin wo jo mere cycles lagte the color karne mein wo ab nahi lagne wale hain theek hai na to z buffer humne kaha ki ye image space method hai theek hai na it is an uh, image space method why image space because it's after rendering the pixels uh, we uh, talk about that before actually coloring we just check out the z buffer and we compare the z buffer of all the polygon surfaces and see uh, jo hamara uh, jo z buffer banega usme kiska value kam hoga usi ki fir intensity se hum lenge color aur usko hum color karenge okay that's why it's called the depth buffer also because we see the whose depth is uh lesser right uh we know that after projection transformation in viewport transformation x and y hum hum lete hain ki image ki pixel kahan par hai taaki hum map karenge on, on our viewport theek hai na lekin depth in fact isko pseudo depth likha gaya hai kyunki we have a 2d actually a screen so we don't have a 3d screen we have a 2d screen and is pe hum depth pseudo depth lenge and that is from the range 0 to 1 ओके द डेप्थ हम लेते हैं फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन बट देर आर बुक्स विच लिटिल डू द लिटिल चेंज ऑफ इट नो ओके तो हमें पता होना चाहिए कि डेप्थ uh, क्या है उस पॉलीगन की वर्टिस वर्टिस की ओके एंड पॉइंट ऑन ऑब्जेक्ट सीन थ्रो पिक्सल मे बी बिटवीन द वर्टिस यानी कि जो कि हम पिस किसी भी पॉइंट की बात करते हैं तो वो उन वर्टिसेस के बीच में ही होगा ठीक है सो वी हैड इंटरपोलेट टू फाइंड द जी उसके बाद हम इसको जी को फाइंड करेंगे वो कैसे फाइंड करेंगे उसके लिए मैं फॉर्मूला बताऊंगा आगे और उसी के हिसाब से उसके कलर वगैरह हम फिर लेंगे डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द जी द लेसर डेप्थ ओके सो हम क्या करेंगे पहले हम करेंगे रेस्टोराइज एवरी इनपुट पॉलीगन हम उनको रेस्टोराइज करेंगे ओके okay? और जो भी जितने भी हमारे पिक्सल होंगे पॉलीगन के ओके okay? उसका हम करस्पॉन्डिंग जी वैल्यू देखेंगे कैसे देखेंगे दैट्स कॉल्ड इंटरपोलेशन वी विल सी दैट इन इन अ मोमेंट और हम देखेंगे फिर कि भैया सबसे छोटा जी कौन सा है किस किस का जी है क्योंकि जिसका जी छोटा होगा उसका मतलब वो नजदीक है उसी का हम पेंट करेंगे पिक्सल विद कलर ऑफ द पॉलीगन हु जी वैल्यू इज क्लोजर टू द आईज और या उसका जिसका जी वैल्यू कम होगा या जिसकी डेप्थ कम होगी जो आई के नजदीक होगा सिंपल एज इट इज सो सिंपल अगौर थे हमारे पास होगा फॉर ईच पिक्सल एक्स एंड वाई जितने भी पिक्सल हमारे पास होंगे वर्टिस के आगे अंदर हम बात कर रहे हैं बिकॉज वी नीड टू नो द वर्टिस ऑफ वर्टिस क्योंकि वर्टिस के बाहर अगर होगा हमें वो ड्रा करना ही नहीं है ठीक है ना बिकॉज वी हैव टू ड्रा द पर्टिकुलर पॉलीगन राइट सो हम वर्टिस के अंदर की बात कर रहे हैं जितने भी पिक्सल्स के बनते हैं फॉर ईच एंड एवरी पिक्सल ऑफ दैट पॉलीगन ओके बट दैट शुड बी इन द पॉलीगन प्रोजेक्शन एरिया वी सी इफ द जी पॉलीगन पिक्सल एक्स एंड जी पॉलीगन पिक्सल मीन जो जी वैल्यू है यू कैन से सिंपली द जी एक्स एंड वाई यानी कि इस पिक्सल का जो z x ऑफ y वैल्यू है ओके okay, अगर वो छोटा है जो कि ऑलरेडी डेप्थ बफर में है जो हमारे पास डेप्थ बफर है या z बफर जिसे हम कहते हैं उसमें ऑलरेडी 
اگر میرے پاس اس میں آپ کبھی بکس لکھتے ہیں زی بفر سو دیٹ ڈز میٹر اٹ از دیٹ سیم تھنگ دا ڈیپ بفر اور زی بفر اگر اس میں جو ویلیو بیٹھا ہے ٹھیک ہے کیونکہ ہمارے پاس دیکھیں یہ میرا سکرین ہے اس سکرین کے اوپر مجھے چیزیں بنانی ہے ٹھیک ہے نا تو اس سکرین کا ایک ایک پکزل جو ہے اس کا جو زی ہے وہ میں یہاں انشلائز کروں گا کوئی بک کہتی ہے کہ آپ انشلائز کرو سارے کے سارے پکزل ود زیرو کوئی کہتے ہیں نا جی نا آپ سارے پکزل کرو یوزنگ دا انفنٹی اور ہمارے اس والے سلائڈ کے اندر ہم سب کو کرتے ہیں میکسیمم کیونکہ میں نے کہا زیرو ٹو ون جو میکسیمم ویلیو ہے لوئسٹ زیرو ہے میکسیمم ون ویلیو ہمارے ہمارے پاس ڈیپتھ کا تو ہم میکسیمم لیں گے ون سب سے میکسیمم یعنی کہ ہر جگہ ہم ون 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 کہیں گے 